Today's outcrop for the day is a beautiful example of strain partitioning that you get in carbonate rocks. We're about 60 kilometres east of Mount Isa in northern Australia and these are calcilicate rocks of the Corella Formation. The pale orange, more prominent layers there are sandy layers, now mostly calcium feldspar, and the more recessive dark layers are still almost pure carbonate. They're mostly converted to marble now. And you can see that the sandy layers appear almost undeformed, but the thin sandy layers interbedded with carbonate are folded like a stack of hotel towels. That just shows you how much strain is taken up by the thin layers of carbonate in between the sand. A few kilometres away, I found another outcrop in the same formation with everything on a larger scale. It's a sequence of sandstones and carbonate rocks the big sandstone units either side are roughly planar, but as you can see, the smaller ones inside the carbonate have been folded like toothpaste. You can safely assume that if there's any deformation going on and you're looking at some carbonate rocks, most of that deformation will be taken up in the carbonate. It won't look very deformed, it won't have a foliation because the carbonate recrystallizes easily and just turns into a marble. But it's taken up the strain.